Hi everyone, Maxine here with Tink and I Treasures. I've got something that's new to me. Uh, I know it's probably been done. There's probably, you know, uh, dozens of videos on this procedure, but it's something I just discovered and it, it is awesome. I am just absolutely fascinated with it. Um, here is uh, the beginnings of um, a journal, a cover, and I have stitched around it. This is cardstock, but this, and I, of course I wish you could feel it, right? Um, this is a napkin. And it's been fused on to the cardstock, and it feels almost like fabric. It is just, it's, it's, it's soft. It, it doesn't feel like it's printed cardstock. Um, like, uh, oh, here, this. Um, it doesn't feel like that. It, it feels almost like fabric. Um, so I'm going to show you how, how this is done. Okay, so what we need is a napkin. Any kind of napkin. I know I, I feel that the camera is way too close, but I I can't seem to figure out how to back it out. Sorry. Um, anyway, so I take um, just regular tape. And um, this is how I get the layers off the back. See? You take just regular tape. You can um, start it really easily. And get the back... There's usually at least one layer um, I have found in all the all the napkins that I've had that there's actually two layers. So you get that off. And then you find yourself some cardstock. You could use um, just plain white cardstock, which is what I used on this one. That was just plain white cardstock. But I thought I would try. I have some of this um, from Tell the Bees um, scrapbook pad. And I thought, you know, maybe we'll try having that and, and have that little bit sh um, show up in the background. So what we want to do is cardstock first and then plastic wrap just regular plastic wrap nothing special if you're like me um <laughs> I, I don't use this stuff for anything because mm, it is just a hot mess every time <laughs> But try to get it off of there uh, without getting all matted down to each other. Yeah, see? Look at that. Just a hot mess every time. So I have found tucking it underneath kind of helps. Not only keeping it from getting all balled up, but I don't want my iron to get into it either. Unfortunately, what I have here, and I don't know that these things come in any other size, um, they don't quite cover a 12 by 12. So I take a little piece and 
do that. Okay, then, so you've got cardstock, and then you've got plastic wrap, and then you've got your napkin. Right? And then you've got parchment paper. Um, just regular parchment baking paper. Alright, now what you need is a hot iron. Oh, and I have um, an ironing ironing thing on top. These are great. These are great. I found this on Amazon and um, it's just, it'll, as you can see, it's a little bit bigger than 12 by 12, um, but it's perfect for using in your craft room and, and doing projects like this. Okay, so hot iron and just start ironing. Now, I can't tell you how long to do it. <laughs> um, it doesn't take very long. This is a super hot iron. You don't want water. You don't want any steam. So I have my iron dry and the steam setting is turned off. It's, it's hard to find an iron these days that doesn't have the steam setting. Isn't that odd? I, I looked and looked and looked. I'll, I wanted just a regular iron with no steam setting. And uh, it's really hard to find. So I, I've used irons a few times in, in my craft studio. Um, I don't need the steam. Never had needed steam. So, but anyway, this is a really nice little iron. As you can see, it's, you know, it's about hand. Um, it's, it's, it's really nice and lightweight. It doesn't take up a lot of room and is, you know, perfect for doing doing craft stuff or when I'm making a journal with a fabric cover I can run this over the fabric real quick to you know iron out any any folds or creases in the fabric so I found this um, I'm pretty sure this was on Amazon too um, Anyway, let me check a little bit here. Probably didn't get this corner very much. Yeah, you want to make sure that you get your corners, get along the edges well. And be careful because this is super hot. This is just like really super hot, so be really careful. This is definitely not something not suitable for children. I'm just, you know, just kind of double, I'm just making sure that I've gotten the edges and the corners good. Okay. Turn that off and unplug it. Set this aside somewhere to um, cool off. It is really hot. <laughs> okay. So 
yeah, that, that turned out really nice. Um, you can kind of see the, the words um, behind it. Oh, you can see that. Anyway, um, yeah, it's stuck on there. <laughs> so, um, what was on the back that you tucked under, you can just um, take that off. Just kind of peels off. I, I didn't get it. I didn't stick on the back on the last one I did. Um, anyway, so now you you have some, you know, hanging off here, but and that's fine. So now you can cut it down to whatever size you want. And uh, like I did with this one, I I cut it down and uh, stitched around it. And so yeah, now it's it's all ready to go and and you can cut it down to whatever size you want. Um, some napkins lend themselves to this better than others. I have found, and going through my napkin stash, which is not very big, <laughs> I have a hard time finding napkins that I would like to use. Um, I don't know why that is, um, but... I, I I don't run across a lot of napkins that that I like. Um, so I don't know where people find them. Uh, you know, I've gone to, well, the stores, you know, they don't really have, you know, they have some decorative napkins, but really not anything I would want to use. Um, this one here, this one would would work fairly well. You just you gotta you know like like fold them in half, you know like for a, a journal cover, and see you know how the design would look. Now this butterfly, well I don't think butterflies are really upside down though, are they? Uh, this butterfly is just flying down this way. <laughs> <laughs> so this one would work, I think. Um, this one, I would dearly love for it to work, but no, that's not going to work. So, see, this is the only part that, that would be good to use. So I am thinking about... Uh, doing this process as a collage. So getting pieces that, that go together um, and doing a collage um, because this, you know, would be really good for, you know, part of a page for a journal. But, um, you know, so if you if find some other napkins that that uh, go with this, this napkin is I love it. I absolutely love it, and I only got a couple of them. I I bought them. I bought um, a package of napkins from somebody. Um, I don't remember if it was Etsy or eBay. Um, I didn't get very much and you know it, it costs quite a bit so um, I don't know and I only got like 
a couple like this, and I really love it. But again, if you fold it in half, that's not going to work for a cover. So this is the part that would be usable. So I, I think I'm going to look at, um, you know, all the napkins I have and let's see if I can't do a collage. This one, I think that would work. Yeah. So anyway, so that's the process. Uh, you lay down in the order of laying them down, cardstock plastic wrap, napkin, parchment paper, and a hot, dry iron. And try it. This, this just feels fabulous. It's, it's like paper, only it feels like fabric. It is just, it, I am just fascinated by it. <laughs> Anyway, that's uh, what I had to show you today, and uh, I might do another video later and show what I've done with, you know, collaging or that kind of thing. So, bye-bye, stay well, stay safe, have a great day, bye-bye. <laughs>